So I'm starting, I'm gonna turn my key to the on position. I'll wait for my ABS. Wait for my ABS and DEF lights to come on and off. All right, we're good. Now I'm gonna start my engine up. My mirrors are clean, adjusted to me and not broken or cracked. My windshield is not broken or cracked. There are no obstructions or illegal stickers blocking my view. My windshield wipers are securely mounted, not been broken. The wiper blades are not cut or cracked. My wipers will wipe. My washers will wash. Now we're going to check my indicators. My left turn signal, right turn signal, both work. High beam, low beam, everything there is working. And then my four-way flashers for hazards, they're working properly. My city horn, it works. My air horn, it works. My heater, heats. And my defroster, defrost. I've got a fully loaded fire extinguisher down here that's securely mounted. It's not been broken, it's not leaking. I've got three red reflective triangles in the truck and I've got a box of spare fuses on the truck. Now I'm going to proceed to go into the brake test here. So I'm going to test my parking brake first. By leaving it pulled out and engaged, I'm going to push it to disengage my trailer brake. I'm going to throw it in uh, drive and we'll do a tug test. I'll do that by giving it gas. And I should feel a tug on my truck truck doesn't let you accelerate with it uh, park and brake engaged. We don't feel the tug in this truck, but in any other trucks we would. So I'll throw it back in neutral now, re-engage my trailer brake, and disengage my parking brake. I'm now going to throw it back in drive, and we will feel a bit of a tug with the trailer brake. There we go. We felt our tug, but we didn't go nowhere, so my trailer brake's functioning properly. We'll throw it back in neutral. Last brake to test is my foot brake, so I'm going to pull forward a few feet, not go more than about five miles an hour. My I'll hit my brake, my truck should stop, and my wheel shouldn't shift left or right. So now I'm going to disengage both brakes, check my mirrors, make sure everything's safe, nobody's approaching my truck, I'm going to be moving a little bit here. Everything looks good. All right, so let's go ahead and drive. And let's go a few feet forward here. My truck stopped. My wheel doesn't shift left or right. So now I'm going to put back in neutral. Make sure the truck doesn't roll. All right, we're good. So now I'm going to build my air tanks up to the max air pressure level between 120 and 140. And I'll know I've reached my max level when my governor cuts off. Accelerate the process. 
Okay. My governor just has just shut off. That, that is the first step of my must pass section. You notice I kept these disengaged. That was the reason. We're going to test something with those here shortly. But after my governor cuts off, I'm good to shut my engine off, turn my key back to the on position. And now my needle stabilized real quick. I'm now going to pull out a timer. I'm gonna set it for one minute. I'm gonna hold my foot on the service brake for one minute. During this minute, I should not lose more than four PSI. And I'm also gonna listen for leaks. timers went off, a minute went by. I didn't lose more 4 PSI and I did not hear any leaks. So now what I'm gonna do is this truck has a low air alarm that should come on when this gauge reaches at or before 55 PSI. I'm gonna say before instead of around because I wanna know at or before, I want it to know that 55 at the lowest is when that low air alarm will come on on my pressure gauge. So I'm gonna pump my brakes, which will use air pressure to cause it to drop. My low air pressure alarm it came on at or before 55 psi i'm now going to continue to pump my brakes and between 20 and 45 psi these two knobs should pop out that's why i kept them in earlier after testing my foot brake one i'm gonna make sure i do it till both pop out there we go both my knobs have popped out between 20 and 45 PSI. I'm now gonna go on to the external light check with my tester. I'll ask them to get out and help me check my left and right turn signals, my running lights, brake lights, and clearance lights. And that will conclude my in cab. I will check all lenses to make sure they are clean, not broken or missing, and are the proper color. My hood mirrors are securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and are clean. I will check under the truck for colored fluids or puddles on the ground. My tractor is level, not leaning side to side or front to rear. All of my engine cables and hoses are free from any fluid or air leaks. My oil reservoir, coolant reservoir, and power steering fluid reservoir all have fluid above the ad line. My power steering box is securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, and not leaking. My power steering hoses are not cut, cracked, or frayed or leaking. The power steering linkage, which consists of the pitman arm, drag link, joints, and tie rod are free from any damage. They are not loose. They are not missing any nuts, bolts, or cotter pin. The leaf springs are securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, and not shifted. The shocks are securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, or leaking. The brake holes and brake hose fittings are securely mounted. There are no cut, cracks, or frays, and are not leaking. The brake drums and linings are securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, and they are free of oil and grease. The spring mounts are not bent, broken, or cracked and there are no missing parts for the front mounts or the back mounts. There's no less than four thirty seconds of an inch of tread depth on the tires. I will check the tread depth with a tread depth gauge. The valve stem and cap 
is securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, or missing. I will check the tire pressure with the tire pressure gauge. The sidewalls are not cut, cracked, or frayed, or missing any rubber, or have any bolters. The rim is securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, and doesn't have any illegal welds. The lug nuts and studs are not loose or missing. There are no rust streaks or shiny threads indicating a loose nut. The bolt holes are not damaged, cracked, or distorted. My lenses, reflectors, and mirror brackets are securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, clean, and not missing any parts. My fuel and depth tanks are securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked. The caps are tight and there are no leaks from the tanks. The hoses are secure and not leaking. I will check that the battery and the battery box are securely mounted and that the cables are connected and are secure, not cut, cracked, or frayed, and there is no signs of corrosion. The DOT tape is present and affixed properly to the side of the trailer. The trailer frame, top and bottom are not bent, broken or cracked and there are no broken welds. The landing gear is securely mounted, not bent, broken or cracked, not missing any parts. The pad is fully lifted and the crank handle is secure. I have clearance between my landing gear and the tractor. I will check the trailer floor for cracks or holes. I will also check the tandem release handles and pins to make sure they are secure, not bent, broken or cracked, and not missing. The kingpin is not bent, broken or cracked. The locking jaws are secured around the king pin and there is no play between the king pin and locking jaws. The skid plate is securely mounted to the platform and is properly greased. It is not bent, broken or cracked or excessively worn. The apron is not bent, broken or cracked and is sitting flat on the skid plate with no gap. The fifth wheel slide is securely mounted, not bent, broken or cracked and the pins are not damaged and in the locked position. My release handle is securely mounted, not bent, broken, or cracked, and in the lock position. My air and electrical connectors on the truck and trailer are secured and sealed. They are not bent, broken, or cracked, and they are locked into place. The airlines are not cut, cracked, or frayed, or taped and are not leaking. The airlines are not tangled or resting on the truck. 